Hi, David. Tom Berger here from Seaside Gallery, Pismo Beach, California. Please give me 10 minutes of your time to review this presentation. Since our participation in the World of Art Showcase last December, I have given much thought to how we can better help artists sell their work in the current art market, and I've come up with a great idea. And because of your demonstrated interest in helping artists, I wanted to offer Jerry's Artorama an opportunity to be one of the first sponsors of this new and novel idea. The idea is straightforward. Present artists and their artwork to potential customers on a weekly television show just as a high-end art gallery would represent them to an interested customer in the gallery. Even allow the viewer to purchase the art by draw as is done at museum exhibitions and sales. There are multiple advantages in this for our artists and our sponsors. TV is a visual medium well suited to displaying and explaining art. The customer can see the art in their home there is no perceived pressure to buy. TV is far more interactive than a website where print advertising can ever hope to be. And even local cable TV broadcasting exposes many more potential customers in a single week than will ever walk through a gallery in a year. With success, our plan is to seek franchise distribution on other cable networks and or syndication with a national network such as the History Channel, Discovery Channel, or Bravo, etc. We include a brief sample of our show, which we named A Brush With Art, in just another minute or two. A Brush With Art is a 30-minute show with two hosts supported as necessary by me as subject matter expert. Our casting call produced two attractive presenters with different styles to present two different artists and two different types of art each week. The format for this show was suggested by our success with a five-minute TV segment we have run locally for the past year. The customer response has far exceeded anything we have achieved with print advertising in national art journals or local print media. A Brush With Art is a local proprietary product developed by Seaside Gallery with the help of Noble Productions, who owns Central Coast Now, a TV segment on two local cable channels. Cable allows a weekly show to air 40 times, providing tremendous exposure for our sponsors and a chance for viewers to reinforce their impression of the art and perhaps their decision to purchase it. Some of the demographics are shown here and discussed in a few minutes. This TV show is a perfect advertising medium for any business associated with art, such as Jerry's Artorama. And as you can read, the cost is modest. After viewing this sample of A Brush With Art, I'm sure you will want to be part of this new approach. Hi, welcome to A Brush With Art. I'm Sarah Rellis, the co-host of a new show that gives you the opportunity to learn about collectible fine art and even purchase it from your own home. And I'm Marisol Miller-Wave, and I will also be here with you on A Brush With Art each and every week, where we will discuss and explore two different pieces of art from two different artists in each half-hour segment. With the support of Tom Berger, Seaside Gallery's owner, we will gain knowledge of and appreciation for different styles, techniques, and emotional themes that come together to create beauty and value in contemporary art. This should be an exciting TV show for you, our viewers. As you recall, we present two pieces each week, and we give you the price of those pieces at the top of the show. Then, with the help of the artist, we go over why the pieces would be such a great addition to your art collection. Then the viewers can submit their purchase request at any time, 24-7, before the next show. At the end of the week, we will do a blind draw to determine who the lucky collector will be. Take a look right now at a brief sample of A Brush With Art. Welcome to A Brush With Art. Hi, I'm Sarah Rellis. I'm here with Tom Berger, the owner of Seaside Gallery in Pismo Beach. And today we're going to be discussing Path to My Old Country Town by Leon Oaks. Tom, this painting is amazing. What is it that appeals to you about this, this painting, Sarah? Well, I think the things that I love the most are the brushwork. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but also the shapes and the colors that he's used. I love how the muted greens play off the brighter reds, and there's even some amazing 
purples that really pop in the top section of the painting. You know, what catches my eye is the way the path leads your eye into the center of the painting and, and, and takes you into the painting but doesn't let you out of it again. It's so true, Tom. It's almost as if you're entering into your old hometown or somewhere where you've traveled, a place where you remember in your past. Artists of fortune to have ability and talent to both. Ability to visualize art and talent to create and bring beauty to the world. Often people commenting that my style and technique are easy recognizable. They asking me how I develop my own style. My response to this question is simple. Just be yourself. Hello and welcome to A Brush with Art. I'm Marisol Miller-Wave and I am here with Tom Berger, owner of Seaside Gallery here in Pismo Beach. And we are looking at, uh, for this segment, a piece by George Gallo titled Stream, an impressionistic piece. Um, now when I look at this piece, we were just talking on the break about how, you know, what makes the difference between impressionistic and expressionistic work. And this is impressionistic because you can't necessarily tell what exactly the painting is about when you look at it from you know different angles or different ways but I get very clearly there's a lot of movement in this piece it's kind of a, there's a, a wild nature to it absolutely so the artist uh, George Gallo here this is oil on panel he's painting a, a stream bed in the fall and this is his impression of, of the branches and the colors and, and the sky and how all of this merges together to form an image. Mm -hmm. Look at these colors. I mean, uh, they're fantastic. We also invite our viewers to ask us any questions about the art that we cover on the show or just art in general and submit them to Seaside Gallery's Facebook page. I'm Sarah. And I'm Marisol. We look forward to having you join us each and every week on A, A Brush, Brush With, with art. art. Businesses interested in sponsoring or becoming a part of this exciting new production, A Brush With Art, please contact Noble Productions at 805-260-4766. Professional artists know that selling their art is something of a numbers game. If enough people view the art, then there is a higher probability that an individual who likes the art and who has the ability and desire will purchase it. Art galleries work hard to increase traffic in the gallery through advertising, websites, artist shows, art exhibitions, etc. because of this. When a customer shows interest, then the art gallery provides information on the art, the artist, and reinforces the emotional connection that appears to be taking place. The art isn't sold to the customer as much as this gallery experience validates the decision process taking place internal to the customer. Television allows the gallery experience to be brought into people's homes where they have the opportunity to watch it up to 40 times a week. This is very powerful. We have selected two attractive personalities that will appeal to a broad range of viewers and imbue them with their enthusiasm for the work of the artists presented. These personalities will present two different artists and types of art in a half hour show to keep interest and energy peaked. Viewers will be gently encouraged to purchase the art by submitting their name via email for a draw to be announced on the subsequent show. This will encourage them to tune in again to see who bought the art and what is offered next. Jerry's Artorama can benefit not only by association with the art, but your brand will also be favored by the attractiveness and likability of our presenters. I am sure that many artists will also watch this show because they want to see who and what is being promoted. A brief word about the demographics can, that we can provide uh, as a return on Jerry's Artorama sponsorship investment. According to the 2010 U.S. Census, almost three-quarters of a million people live in Santa Barbara and San Luis Obispo counties, most of them along the coast in resort destinations. There are six universities and colleges all with degreed art programs, including the University of California, Santa Barbara, with a Master's of Fine Art program. Another key point is that many of the professional artists working for Disney, Hanna-Barbera, Universal Studios, etc., 
choose to retire in these two counties to pursue their first love, fine art, as a second career. Additionally, Pismo Beach, as the fourth most popular California tourist destination, hosts over 2 million visitors a year, and with 70% of the hotels offering cable TV, there is an effective out-of-area coverage that benefits our sponsors. Should Jerry's Artorama ever think about expanding on the West Coast, then a measured response to sponsorship in the Central Coast of California might show a viable market can be created here that doesn't directly confront established competition in San Diego, Los Angeles, or San Francisco. Central Coast Now, or CCN, is a locally owned property that broadcasts shows of local interest on Charter Cable Channel 10 and Comcast Cable Channel 27. It provides local businesses a non-traditional opportunity to market their products or services affordable through TV. Seaside Gallery took advantage of this opportunity for a five-minute segment on a local show named Staycations, which encourages people to vacation locally by demonstrating things to see and do in Pismo Beach. You can view our segment on our website, www.theseasidegallery.com. Results and feedback were immediate and positive, with many visitors coming to Seaside Gallery and telling us that they came in because they saw us on TV. We still hear that today after a year on the air. Central Coast now is owned by Noble Productions, a local media and marketing company whose focus is on helping local businesses succeed. The company is supported by professional videographers with decades of experience in related LA area promotions and communications companies. Well, thank you for hearing me out, David. So here's the bottom line. Sponsoring a brush of art is an extremely cost-effective means to leverage the fastest growing methods of reaching additional Jerry's Artorama customers, TV, video, and social media. You may have many reasons other than just growing your West Coast business base to be a sponsor of this new and unique TV art program. The cost of building your ad here on the West Coast is included, or you can provide your own. A brush with art will be aggressively promoted on TV and in the print media prior to launch, which assures a solid viewing audience for your advertisement as well as for our show. And you may use your ad as you wish on your own website or social media. I have emailed a sponsorship agreement separately. This is a good deal. Can I count on Jerry's Artorama to become a sponsor and help us get a brush with art on the air now? Thank you, David.